Hey, this video is part of a larger series of 10 modules. To find more of our content, just go in the description below. God bless you. Now, since we now we know we've debunked some myths and we know some facts, we are ready now to get into understanding really what are the unknown laws, the surprising unknown laws of happy marriages. And I tell you, the, why are they unknown? Because you know what? Sometimes they are countercultural. Sometimes they're even counterintuitive. And uh, if you're not really into marriage, you have not been studying the topic or really trying to learn more about it, chances are you just have missed them or at least you don't hear them as often. At least most of them. Now, of course, they are not just you no know, rules and laws, you know, like written in stone, but they are really guiding principles to help us understand each other better and really, really have a much greater marriage together. So let's get started. And so the first law of, uh, of the unknown law of happy marriages is the law of intentionality. The law of intentionality says that happiness does not come by chance. Happiness comes by choice. Now, this law is not more important than the others, but, but there's a reason why it is the first one. It is the first one because it is, it is foundational. I've met couples, many, many couples, who had this distorted idea that, you know what, things will get better with time. I, I, I'm sure you have heard this saying before, that time is the best medicine. Oh, I've lost the count how many times I've heard the saying. I can think of many Many instances which time is really good. You know, time can really help with something. But not so when dealing with deep issues in marriage. Sometimes you, you know, just an example. You see this smart, bright young lady. And she's dating this, this guy. You know, this guy who is really not a nice guy. And, you know, he belittles her. He harasses her pretty much. He embarrasses her in front of her friends. You know, and, and she puts her down. I mean, it's not good. And, 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 they, she, and she thinks in her mind, you know what? It will get better when we get married. And, I, and I've been in situations in which a young lady comes and speaks to me. And I'm, I'm speaking about this young boy. And she says, Pastor, you know what? I'm the only one who gets him. <laughs> you know, I'm the only one who gets him. What I tell her is this, sweetheart, I'm sorry, but you are the only one who doesn't get him. You know, uh, things would not just get better. People doesn't, don't get just better uh, over time, you know, just because they get better. You have to be intentional. What you are not addressing in your marriage right now, you're not intentionally addressing right now, it is not going to get better. As a matter of fact, things tend to get worse. How do you know it's going to get worse if I don't do anything about it? Well, there isn't such a thing called uh, one of the laws of thermodynamic. It's called entropy. And, and the law of entropy basically says, you know, that things don't move from chaos into order. They move from order into chaos. Basically, the law of entropy says that everything is going towards chaos. Everything is going towards chaos. Chaos is predictable. Chaos is certain. So in order for you to avoid chaos and, and issues in your marriage, you have to work at it and make progress and, and be very intentional about it. Let me give an illustration so you, I, I, I hope you, you get my point here on what, what I'm saying here. Marriage is like a garden. I mean, you need to work at a garden to make it good, right? You need to trim the plants. Uh, you know, you, you need to water it. You need to use fertilizer as well. Uh, you, you have to mow the lawn. You, you got exposed to the sun. You got to take the weeds out. And if you don't do that, what happens to your beautiful garden? The weeds take over. They just, this is the natural course of things. The weeds will take over. And so is in marriage. If we don't tend to the garden of our marriage, if we don't, or if we're not careful, you know, the grass will grow. The flowers will fade, the plants will wither, and the weeds of marriage will take over. That's what happens. But the good news is this, that if we work at it, and we work with our hearts, and we intentionally try to make it better, oh, you can experience greater joys than you ever thought possible before. That is the good news. So what I want you to understand here is this. Things would not get better overnight they will get better over 
time. But, but why? But how? That is, if you are intentional. Things will not get better overnight. They will get better over time. How? That is, if you are intentional. Now, if you don't get intentional with your marriage, if you're just going to watch this right now, and just, okay, thank you, I just watched another seminar, and you don't do anything about it, things will not get any better, and they will actually get worse. They will never stay the same. But if you start working right now, things will get better. And you don't need to wait for years for the first improvements. No, no, no. If you begin changing things right now, tonight or right now, things will start getting better as of now. You've got to be patient. You've got to be diligent, disciplined. But yes, you can begin experiencing changes right now, especially if you do this together as a couple. You're far from perfect. Marriage is far from perfect, but you can experience greater joy today. You can begin as early as right now by deciding to be intentional, and make a difference in your marriage right now. Remember, happiness does not come by chance. Happiness comes by choice. And my friends, I think you and your spouse are in the right track if you're taking this, this mastermind course together. Because you know why? If you're taking this course together, that means you're trying to be intentional about improving your married life. And your marriage life, your life together. And I hope you're going to take this very, very seriously. So as we're wrapping this up, this module right now, I'm going to have three questions for you guys to think about this. First question, have you ever fallen into the trap of thinking time would solve deep issues in marriage? If you did, think about it right now and I want you to write this down and think when, when did it happen? So question number two, do you procrastinate addressing issues in your marriage? How often do you do that? And how is that working out for you? I mean, do you avoid a lot of questions? Do you avoid a lot of conversations? Is that what you do? How is that working out for you? And question number three, what did you get out of this module? What did you get out of this? You know, what is the one thing you got out of this module one year about the, the, the law of intentionality? And last but not least, at the end of every module, I'll also have challenges for you. And, and the challenge for this module right now, as we're wrapping this up, is this. You and your spouse, I want you to pick no more than three areas of your marriage that you need to intentionally improve. Once you find out those three areas, I want you to compare them to your spouses. And now you, both of you need to agree to intentionally address no more than one for the next seven days. That's the challenge. So as we're wrapping this up, we're going to go now to, to, to our couples, a little bit of a discussion. But when you have a time, you and your spouse, what are the things you need to be intentional about, really intentional about? And then you pick three, compare your three, you choose one, and for the next seven days, you will try to devise a plan together to solve this big issue you're trying to prove together. My friends, this is the end of module two. Thank you for your time. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next module. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We hope you got some value out of this. For more of our content, just go down in the description below and find the links. Before you leave, we just ask you, please hit the like button, subscribe. This really helps our channel to grow. We can even post a comment, a question, something you learn about. And I hope to see you in the next module. God bless you.